A top AEW star comments on their forced absence. Plus, Impact Wrestling has signed a major ex-Ring of Honor name. And we have an update on Sasha Banks' WWE and New Japan pro wrestling status. It's all in the wrestling news right now. Miro. How do you keep Miro off the telly? <sighs> he's the whole package. He's, yeah. he's a little Christmas present for he's AEW. A massive Christmas present. He is. And he'll jump out of it for you as all the wrap is all wrapped up under the tree. <laughs> Tony Khan's having a lovely Christmas. Big present under the tree. He does that thing. <laughs> you know where like people order the Grinch to come round your house and just absolutely trash it and beat your kids up? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Miro should do. You're a mean one. Mr. Miro. Uh, we haven't seen him on AEW telly since All Out. Uh, reports came out saying that there's a lack of creative for him. Uh, he attended the premiere of National Treasure Edge of History and was asked by Muse TV when he's going to be returning. And he replied, it's not up to me. I'm doing every, anything I can. And from then on, I'm just sitting and waiting for the opportunity. So this is Miro essentially responding to reports that we have heard this week. There's been two mm. schools of thought on the reports over the past week or so. Uh, Feifel saying that Miro is fit and healthy and good to go and just they have no creative for him. Mm -hmm. Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer saying that there was creative for him, but he rebuffed it. Yeah. Uh, so it feels as if here... Now, now Miro's not saying, oh, there wasn't creative and I didn't want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's saying that he's doing anything he can and he's just waiting for the opportunity to get back on telly. Sounds like it might be, right? A little from column A and a little from column B mm. in terms of like, yes, he might have been... Uh, presented creative like what we heard with Ethan Page in the firm and he kind of like turned that down that sort of role that Ethan Page is doing right now um, and then at the same time maybe perhaps now Miro's doing everything he can to sort of write a new sort of creative direction for him a new storyline within AEW but perhaps just something's not fitting in just right now to mm. finally like push it into yeah. the right direction I hope 2023 we see Miro back in the mix me too we've it's, got it have not we it's been such a missed opportunity hasn't it for the longest time and every time he comes back he does his he does his promos I think there's a lot with Miro in terms of the crowd are behind him so you could push him as a baby face whereas he's also a fantastic heel at the same time there's so many possibilities and there's so many opportunities you could uh, you could conjure up for Miro but just seemingly nothing is is happening right now stuff definitely happening for the former Kyle Kylie Ray, though, from AEW, she's she's on WWE Network now. She is. You can now watch Kylie Ray, who's been repackaged as Brianna Ray. She's a real name, I've been told. Oh, right. Oh, wow. So she's making a WWE debut against Dana Brooke on WWE Main Event. Ali tweet, uh, sorry, Ali tweeted the match graphic to celebrate Ray's debut as well. And then Ray, quote, quote retweeted it, saying, one of the best parts was Ali catching me crying hard. He's a real one. Grateful for you. What a night, Cry emoji. Thank you so much. Bless her. This is a big deal for Kylie Ray, who's mm. been uh, in and around the, the houses with personal issues, and she's been quite open about uh, some of them and some of those uh, mental health issues as well. And it's been really stop start for Kylie. When we saw Kylie Ray getting announced for main event, there was an outpouring of love, but yep. there was also uh, a little underbelly of negativity about it because many people who watch this channel, many people who watch Wrestling Towns in general, uh, have sort of got the vibe that she's now unreliable mm. uh, because she's been through the because you know she started with AEW, then disappeared off the radar. Started with Impact and then disappeared off the radar. Did indie stuff and vanished as well. Um, it's, we, we we don't we are not in a place to judge how people fight their demons. No, we are really not. Uh, this is the the words that I see of somebody who's genuinely in a much better place than she has been. Yes, long may it remain. Uh, she was celebrating sobriety on Twitter just the other day, and congratulations uh, to her. And it, you know, if you're going through a similar fight, we wish you all the love and the best wishes as well. Uh, and I I think she'd be. A, 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 such a perfect fit for WWE. I think she'd be such a perfect fit as well. I think within NXT as well, sort of with how that is presented at the moment, I think she'll fit in perfectly there with all the different characters and everything going on. Uh, she's someone, right, who I remember when AEW was sort of like starting up and everything and, and getting going, and I wasn't really too familiar with a lot of the wrestlers uh, that were coming into AEW. And I went onto uh, YouTube and found a match between Orange Cassidy 
and Kylie Ray back in the day. And oh my God, those two together were so, 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 so good. So when she got, you know, when she, when, when we heard that she was going to go to AEW and everything, really excited to see what she could do. But then obviously, as we were saying there, uh, life gets in the way sometimes, life gets in the way. Mm. And uh, I'm just really happy to see hopefully more of her on WWE TV and uh, just to see more of her in general. She seems, she seems like a really nice person. New champions uh, crowned in your house if you went to cultaholicshop.com. Oh, ho! Chair nearly and went. <laughs> purchased some brand spanking new merchandise. Who wouldn't want to wear to make? Okay, here's here's a scenario. That's like, look, you keep doing the scenario dance. Here's the scenario, right? It's Christmas Day in your household. Should you keep Christmas in that particular way? It's Christmas day there and then he's off, he's dancing, he's off. There you've got your, 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 your family all around you. There they are. What a joy, they're having a lovely time. And then you walk in as the feast is being laid and you go, hey, look, mom, hey, look, dad, look at this new poster I've got. And those smiles, they become huge, teethy smiles because they are so happy that you have made a solid lifetime financial investment in a cultaholic wrestling poster. Maybe this could be the turning point if you're looking to sell your home. Unsightly crack in the wall. Pop that on the wall! Keep it covered! We've also got t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, pin badges, and uh, we're down to our final few Barry the Shark puppets. If you want your very own Barry the Shark for life, not just for Christmas, uh, you can check out cultaholicshop.com right now. We will 100% not send you this Black and Decker drill should you join us at cultaholicshop.com. Oh, hey, don't let me, some people, some people in the comments would love you to do that. <laughs> but don't. New Impact Champions <laughs> crowned. Yep. Uh, congratulations to new uh, tag champs, Motor City Machine Guns. Well done. Although, well done. Well done. <laughs> sad for Heath and Rhino, though, so I'm, I'm good for my boy Heath and Rhino. Uh, but Motor City Machine Guns begin their third time as Impact Tag Champs. I always assumed it was more... But it's not. It's not. I thought, sorry, in my brain, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say more then. This is really, really good, though. They're, mm. uh, they're sort of doing an FTR now, collecting tag team championships, right? Yeah, New Japan Strong tag yeah. champs as well. They are strong boys. I hope this leads up to another, like a, a, a proper match between Motor City Machine Guns and FTR down the road as well. Ooh. Give us that. Because we got, I can't, actually, I can't actually remember if we did finally get that. Because we got the, uh, the, the six man, didn't we? Uh, with um, with Jay Lethal in the mix, and was it Wardlow as well? I think it was Wardlow on FTR's side, and we got that match, but I don't think we ever got FTR versus Motor City Machine Guns. I might be wrong. I probably am wrong. I mean, if they do a match for all the belts, I mean, all the belts. <laughs> Jesus, Tom, that, I didn't mean all the belts. That just become. I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you don't mean for all the belts because that just becomes cumbersome. It does, doesn't it? To carry all that <laughs> metal around, <sighs> carry all them belts. What I work for, tie rack. We Ridiculous. Cut him down to size. Oh, oh God. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, there's, uh, there's an impact, there's, there's a, an ex Ring of Honor star who's looking to cut some impact wrestling stars down to size. Now they've signed with the company, isn't that? There certainly is. Former Ring of Honor world champion Jonathan Gresham has officially signed a contract with Impact Wrestling. Now, Gresham made a return to Impact last night to save Delirious from an attack at the hands of Eddie. Edwards. Uh, the terms of Gresham's deal, though, have yet to be revealed, but he will compete against Edwards at Hard to Kill on January 13th. Uh, I'm so happy that Gresham's there. Gresham's Me a good too. fit for Impact. Oh, definitely, definitely. And it's nice to see him, you know. I, I'm, I'm glad he's not away from the wrestling sphere. I think th things were sort of up in the air for a little while. And they didn't deserve to be. Like, no. When Ring of, Ring of Honor shut down this time last year, and Jonathan Gresham put that Ring of Honor title over his shoulder and took it everywhere. And he defended it mm -hmm. across the world at indie promotions. He flew the flag for Ring of Honor in on every continent, pretty much. Yep. Uh, and and to say thank you for the hard work he did in carrying the his newly acquired favorite toy, Tony Khan had Jonathan Gresham drop the belt within about five minutes to Claudio Castagnoli. Yeah, in just a weird, unnecessary heel turn, just felt a bit 
you just felt a bit rushed, didn't it? Yeah, there were some words and things that there was some tension between Tony and Gresham. And either way, Gresham has a nice home in Impact Wrestling. He's working yeah. with his partner now. Excited. Excited yeah. for him. Yeah, definitely. Him and Jordan Grace getting on. That's, that's that, working together in the same place. Yeah. I like that a lot. That's nice news. Uh, we'll end on a little bit about Sasha Banks. We talk about people uh, signing up to new places. There's a few little details about uh, Sasha Banks' situation. Then we'll let you crack up with the rest of your day. Fightful Select say it was confirmed to Fightful that Mercedes Vernado's WWE ex exit was negotiated months ago. We remember we talked about Raj Giri of Wrestling Inc. Uh, reporting that Sasha was gone. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this was at a time where we were like, oh, actually, we don't know. We're mm -hmm. not really sure. Uh, but Wrestling Inc. had it on the money, according to Fightful Select. Uh, WWE are still yet to confirm this. Like, they were quick to put Mandy Rose in the WWE alumni section, yeah. which they did this morning. Mm. Sasha Banks still listed as an active star on the roster. Oh. Five Select States also reiterated to us that Sasha Banks was able to start taking wrestling related bookings from January the 1st onwards. Uh, we're told that conventions such as WrestleCade, who tried to book her, uh, went to great lengths to get her on. Uh, to do stuff before January the 1st, but it couldn't happen. So uh, deliberately being kept away from wrestling endeavors until January the 1st. Uh, beyond that, says Fightful, we're also informed that the New Japan Pro Wrestling deal is a go oh. and was agreed upon as far back as the last week of November. Wow, so that's been in the works for a little while then. Yeah, on the, old, on the, on the undercurrent, oh. uh, Sasha Banks has said farewell to WWE, which we, we, we said as much just the other day, uh, but very much... Uh, something that happened months ago mm. uh, and the new japan deal is set to be more than just a one-off hello hello this is going to be potentially mercedes Fernando having a series of matches for the iwgp women's champion that's very exciting especially in the mix with Kyrie as well her mm. and Kyrie are gonna make magic and i can't wait for it now five or select say because this is the golden question that a lot of people are asking and there's no answer to this particular one yet they've heard nothing of an aew offer that doesn't mean they've not approached mercedes about coming in mm. i would assume that someone's at least put a, a feeler out towards Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I, well, you know, with a little pay-per-view called Forbidden Door now and AEW wanting to push that quite... Quite for, mm. like going forward, I reckon we could see a rock up maybe next year at a Forbidden Door. I wonder whether whether they, they do a little bit of hot shottery and have Mercedes Vernado, Mercedes, um, Mercedes Monet uh, win the IWGP Women's Championship mm. maybe springtime from Kyrie. And that is your way through the forbidden door. Jamie it's the Hitter. key that unlocks the forbidden door. Jamie Hater and Sasha Banks have the most. I though. don't know whether Jamie will still have the belt by then. Oh, she better have. Mm. She better bloody well have. Or oh, there'll be chaos. Christmas is cancelled. Mm. Otherwise, <laughs> that's it. I'm done. Something to ponder, Rhonda, uh, over the rest of the day. We'll have more wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Anything else that we need to plug? Uh, I don't think so. This is pretty... Like, we've got maybe one more news video to do after this, and then that's it for me. I'm off for Christmas. And you're done, aren't you? I'm done. We got, I've got a video going out over Christmas, right? There's plenty of Christmas content, but I worked very, very hard on Wrestling Road Stories Part 5. Lots of animations and lots of little bits in it. So please do watch that, because I will be thankful. Christmas. <laughs> You stuck with me over the Christmas break, I'm afraid, but you, Andrew, is off to take a very well-deserved break. Ah, uh, we'll you can't say that. You're not allowed to say that I'm, when you work hard, all, like I, 24 hours a I day. I barely do anything. Liar. He's a liar, everyone. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Hey, we'll hopefully get back in here and do one more video in a bit, yes. shall we? Yes, fingers crossed. Uh, for the rest, of the, the rest of the wrestling news throughout the rest, check out wrestle, 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 wrestle. Wait, wait. 